this is the latest, and definitely the greatest, HSV Malu GTS R you will ever see and it is a little deceiving at first just when I thought this new iteration wasn't going to get any more potent than the last Malu I drove, I was hit with a sudden belt of power after knocking it down a cog and sinking the boot in. This thing is quick. I mean, properly quick. In came the supercharger loud and clear, as well as one hell of a shove in the back, as the sticky continental tires buried themselves into the bitumen and catapulted the sting red beast towards the horizon. Of course, it's all down to some serious mechanical fury lurking under the bonnet. Engine bays aren't something you tend to ogle these days, mostly because you can't see anything, but for the plastic cover on top screening any semblance of metal and manifolds. But this is different. It's the last of the breed and it's not going quietly, not by a long shot. And you'll definitely want to pop the bonnet to have a look. HSV's engineers have extracted every ounce of power and torque possible from the 6.2-liter supercharged V8, which powers both the GTS R sedan and Ute. Developing 435 kilowatts and 740 Nm of torque, it's also the most powerful LSA V8 ever built by HSV, trumped only by the T-Rex size LS9 version in the GTS RW1, which makes a stratosphere 474 kilowatts and 815 Nm. It's also the most expensive youth ever, with an eye-popping price tag of $96,990 plus on roads for the 6-speed manual, even more for the auto $99,490. That's big bucks, given you can have an R8 LSA 30 years Malu from $79,990 with the same supercharged V8, but making a slightly less 410 kilowatts and 691 nm and for that kind of money there's also a wide and varied lineup of fast car options available. Many of which are quicker, less expensive and even more spacious than the GTS R Malu. What about the new second generation Audi SQ5? It's plenty quick and arrives next month for a tad less than $100k with heaps of luggage space. Or for something more focused, an Alfa Romeo 4C Coupe for $89,000, or there's a new Audi RS3 arriving shortly for around $85,000 and it's as quick as the latest Porsche 911. The choices don't stop there, either. You can also get a Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG for just over $78,000, or the monster-powered Grand Cherokee SRT just updated with a 6.4-liter V8 for less than $92K. And that's just a taste of what's on offer. However, lush Euro rides probably aren't the look and feel you want at building sites, bar a top-spec Volkswagen Amarok. They're just not an acceptable image for cashed up tradies or pool company bosses. But a hundred grand's worth of Aussie performance ute, well, that's different. It's not only acceptable, it's the holy grail. Thankfully, that level of investment also buys you an inherent level of exclusivity, at least in this segment, given it's the final iteration of the iconic coupe utility that Australia effectively brought to market way back in the 1930s. While HSV will build around 1300 GTSR sedans 15 of those will be rebadged as Vauxhall VXR8 GTSRS, only 670 GTSR Malas will roll out of the company's Clayton factory this year, effectively guaranteeing its collectible status.